Hey everyone, can you hear me? Can you see me too? Me ven, me escuchan? Todo bien? Rudis, Martín, Fernando, you there? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes, I see you. It's good to see you too. How are you? ¿Cómo están? I'm okay, teacher. I'm ready for the class. Excellent, ready. I'm so glad to hear that. I hope you had a better um weekend than me. Um, I have like a little bit um um busy with all the things that I need to do, but I'm fine and I have like all the energies to do the things that we need to know. We're going to talk about the things that we already saw and maybe a new things. And I'm so glad for that because we can start with this. Um, first of all, I need to know if someone has any questions about the modal verbs. Si alguien de casualidad tiene alguna pregunta sobre los modal verbs que hemos visto. No? No. Todo bien, todo Ay. perfecto. Esto de los modal verbs tiene que quedar bien claro porque es algo que vamos a utilizar muchísimo, muchísimo en el inglés. Así que me preocupo por ustedes y quiero que todo quede bien claro. Así que, si hay algo que no está claro de los modal verbs, al que ustedes vean que pues todavía no le agarran o así, me pueden decir por qué vamos a iniciar también con este tipo de cosas. Y los modal verbs son bastante usuales en el inglés, así que van a tener un buen uso. Perdón que me estoy tomando mi pastillita, pero ya era la hora. Entonces, ¿todo bien? Sí. Ok. Se les quiero recordar de que tenemos, esta es la semana número cuatro, por lo tanto, ya es la última semana que vamos a estar juntos. En esta semana ustedes tienen que dejar completo la sección número cinco y el examen final. Eso está dentro de la plataforma. Si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda o algo que tenga que ver con el funcionamiento de la plataforma en sí, pueden hacerlo directamente en el chat de WhatsApp donde están los demás compañeros de inglés corporativo para que ellos les puedan guiar. De todas maneras, eh, he tratado de completar lo más que se puedan estas clases para que ustedes ya solo lo practiquen y pues que lo de la plataforma sea la parte escrita, que, esta clase sea, que las clases sean lo práctico. Y me he esforzado al menos por dejar estos momentos para que realmente se haga. Eh, así que no se les olvide trabajar la plataforma, hacer pues las cosas que necesitan hacer. Yo sé que hasta ahora ya también ya bien cansado, ya quieren irse a casa, o dormir o a lo que sea. Pero también es importante que nosotros pongamos el esfuerzo en esto. Y yo sé que en este momento aún se están uniendo, hay como seis o siete personas creo que están conmigo porque apenas se están uniendo a clase, porque tienen muchas cosas que hacer, porque uh, llegan tarde y yo los comprendo, yo también llego tarde a todos lados, hasta mi cumpleaños llegué tarde, así que yo les entiendo, pero vamos a poner todas las energías en hacer los primeros ejercicios que nos tocan hacer, eh, va a ser bastante práctico. Así que quiero saber si hay alguna duda hasta el momento sobre los topics que hemos visto. No, todo bien, todo perfecto. Ok, ustedes son bien poquitos, bien, bien poquitos. Ok. El primer ejercicio que vamos a tener... Um, it's about your abilities. You know, ya se recuerdan que yo no les voy a decir qué que modal verb usar. Eso es parte de la intención de cada modal verb y de la manera que usted lo quiera hacer. Así que yo les voy a dejar la pregunta y ustedes se van a reunir en grupos y lo van a hacer. 
talk about your abilities. Cada uno tiene que hablar de al menos seis habilidades que tengan cada uno. Ok, talk about your abilities. Do you have any questions about it? No, teacher. Okay, les voy a dejar en las breakup rooms. Y ustedes saben qué es lo que tienen que hacer. Tienen que socializar esto con sus compañeros porque eso es lo importante. Y luego vienen aquí y me lo cuentan a mí. Ok, so go. You can go.
¿Ve? Se borraron todo. Jimmy, se borraron todo, Jimmy. Hi. Ay, teacher. Hi, ¿cómo les fue? ¿Todo bien? No. Why not? <laughs> Because I, I read in the in the chat and the 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 message don't don't see in this moment. Is the problem is that we don't have them or proper chat, and we have to put it in the general one. Oh, okay. Don't worry with the chat. You know something's happened. What about the exercise? Did you did you finish? It was just we finished. Okay. Yeah. So who wants to tell me the exercise? Can me quiere comentar su sus habilidades? I can Beijing. Let me give me a minute. Mm -hmm. I fix something here. What is this? Okay. Mm -hmm. One of my abilities is to cook. And the other is that I have a first idea, first side and knowledge ones. Mm -hmm. And I came to draw with pencil. Really? Places, places, in everything. Um, and I can use easily uh, every tool. Okay. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Jimmy. You did it so great. I love your abilities. Okay, who else wants to tell me your abilities? Um, I... I can ride a motorcycle. Uh, he can ride a motorcycle. He can ride a motorcycle. That's amazing. I love that ability. Huh? I love that ability. I wish I, I could ride a motorcycle. Yes, <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. Another ability that you have? Uh, I can do taekwondo. You go what? I can do taekwondo. Really? Yes. Oh my god, that's an interesting sport. I really love taekwondo. I I didn't practice no no one, but I saw that sport and it's so amazing. I didn't know that you could do that. Mm -hmm. I practice I judo too. You that. Sorry? I practice judo. Ah, yeah. Of course. Of course. Okay. Someone else who wants to share their uh, your abilities? Mm -hmm. Todavía tenemos unos cuantos participantes por aquí. Come on, Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. you are there? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. When, when vamos a escuchar a Rudy y luego a Mauricio. Go, Rudy. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, sería my steel air maintenance and installation, installation of electronic equipment. I can also repair motorcycles. Another my skill is maintenance of equipment and workshops for workshops. Um. Another skill is, is working with, with wood, madera. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the, I can prepare 
uh, the cars and um, diesel motors only. I know it's the muteada, yo hablando de la muteada otra vez. Okay, thank okay. you so much. I'm so sorry. Okay, ¿Se lo vuelvo you. a decir? Sí, sí. Yeah. Well, on my skill are maintenance and installation of electronic equipment. I can also repair motorcycles. Another of my skills is maintenance of equipment for workshops. Uh-huh. Another skill is working with wood, with wood, and another another skill are prepared to gasoline um diesel motors, but by vehicles. Ah, okay. Engine. Engine. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. It was really good. Okay. Another another exercise that I need to know. Uh -huh. Otro ejercicio. Maybe the Salvadorian have a lot of. The Salvadorian what? Have a lot of skills. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know it, you know it. Okay. Uh, ¿Algún todo. otro participante? Todo lo... <laughs> Roque, Roque Dalton, Roque Dalton es el que decía que el salvadoreño es el ácido a todo, ¿verdad? Of course. Sí, el todo. <laughs> Roque Dalton es el de. But the Salvadorian old school, nowadays the child doesn't, doesn't have any ability. Yeah, just, of course. Just wait the, the, the money for pay the new games for a place by and the old school uh had a lot of skills because they 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 or oh, we started to work um uh, very earlier, no late like the new the new era. It's not bad but it's the reality. Yes, of course, of course, it's part of the, um, uh, of the skills, of course. Okay, I think that everything is fine with here. Um, I'm just gonna pass to the next level. Y les voy a mostrar mi pantalla para que podamos irnos a la siguiente cosita que hacer. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, so for okay for this conversation, this is asking about families. We're going to start a new topic about families, and um, ya que vamos a iniciar con esto de las families, vamos a ver como distintos vocabularios y the readings que tienen que ver como con las families. So for this, I need two volunteers to help me to read. Someone to be Rita and someone to be Sue. Okay, Martin, you're going to be Rita. Y... Me, teacher. Rudy. <laughs> ah, okay, y Rudy va a ser su. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh. Government, please. <laughs> oh, what does she do? In the sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a real life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? 
Oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. He's traveling in the Amazon. Yeah. I like it. I would like to do that. Okay. This is like a little bit questions about our family. When you are like and doing uh, a thing and you find a friend in some place and they say, hey, how are what? how about your family and you say oh my god everything is good my mom is doing that my dog is doing it too um uh, my sister is doing another thing and all of these things like talking about our family okay so first of all i need to know if you have questions about it what kids will will like ¿Dónde está? Eh, Rita, en medio, en la, en la oración de en medio. Uh, vida salvaje. A uh, wildlife photographer. <risa> es, fotografía, uh -huh. es fotografía de la vida salvaje. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, another question. No. No. Okay, I'm going to stop here and we're going to do another thing. Ay, se me olvidó que aquí estaba la pronunciación. Aquí. This is the grammar focus. I need two volunteers to help me to read the present continuous. Okay, Crisia, you're going to read las primeras tres. Faltan las otras tres. Who else? Okay. Are you living at home now? Is your sister working for the government? Are it in Gil, going to college this year? Okay. Y las respuestas que ya las sabemos. Yes, I am. Yes, she is. They are. I'm not. And all of these things. Okay, thank you, Crisia. Go, Jimmy. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the, the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. As you can see, this is the present continuous. Vaya, introduciendo ese tema. El presente progresivo es un tema que ya han visto antes. Es sobre las cosas que nosotros estamos haciendo ahorita. Por ejemplo, um, in this moment, I am teaching. En este momento, yo les estoy enseñando. Por lo tanto, es parte del presente continuo. El presente continuo se diferencia del presente simple porque el continuo habla solo um, de lo que nosotros estamos haciendo en el momento, en el instante. Y una vez esa cosa ya terminó, se vuelve pasado simple. ¿Ok? Se vuelve pasado simple. Ya no es presente simple. Eh, perdón, ya no es presente continuo. Así que se utiliza de esta forma. Siempre vamos a utilizar la misma estructura. Vamos a hacer sujeto, luego el verbo to be, porque el, el presente progresivo, eh, el presente progresivo tiene, tiene esto de, de, de que tiene el modal verb, uh, no, perdón, que tiene el, el, el qué, el, el verbo to be y lo lleva like I am going to. Ese going to se utiliza como un presente progresivo y luego va el verbo en presente simple. Ok, este es el presente progresivo y es algo que vamos a utilizar bastante. Y creo que es algo que ya hemos visto, que ya han visto incluso en otras clases. El presente progresivo es bastante sencillo. So, uh, les voy a presentar mi pantalla para que vean.
Okay. This is a speaking activity. La vamos a hacer entre todos. All recommendations. There is a group of people that are planning to visit your country. And what will they enjoy to doing? And we're going to do a recommendation for each person. Lo que significa que vamos a, re a leer el problema de cada persona. Y vamos a inventarnos con should, con may, con los modal verbs que ustedes sepan. Recomendaciones para ellos. Okay, so for this I need three volunteers. Someone to be Molly, someone to be Red, and someone to be Teresa. This is Molly, teacher. Sorry? Sí. I can read Molly. Okay, you can be Molly. Vamos yeah, a ver quién okay. quiere ser Rod y quién quiere ser Teresa. Yeah. ¿Puedo ya? No, espérame un momento. Quiero saber quién okay. quiere ser Rod y Teresa. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Only one. Ok, Crisia va a ser Rod. ¿Alguien más? Ok, Jimmy. Jimmy va a ser Teresa. Ok, ahora sí puede comenzar Rudy con Molly. Ok. I really like Get, get a place where I can relax, hike, and enjoy the view. I can stand big crowds. Excellent. That's great. So this is like the problem for Molly. And what do you think that she will, that she should do? ¿Qué creen ustedes que debería hacer? She to go. She should should to go to to a park to feel better relax. Okay, she should go to the park to feel relaxed. Relax. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Okay, I'm agree with that. I'm agree with that. Another another recommendation. She she should go to. The mountain. The mountain. To camping, right? Because she really yeah. like um, places where she can be relaxing. What is more relaxing than a mountain, right? Excellent. Thank you so much, Crisia, too. Okay, you did it so great. Pasemos a Rod. ¿Quién es tu carrera, Rod? Me, teacher. Okay, go. Okay. I love to eat in nice restaurants, go dancing, and stay up late at night. I don't like small towns. Okay, thank you so much. This is a problem for Rod. So what do you think about it? ¿Qué le advertirían? You have to go to... Uh... This really because oh. he he didn't he doesn't like small towns maybe Rod uh, should go to to like to Zona Rosa in San Salvador mm -hmm. okay yeah it can be an option it can be an option Okay, another another recommendation or advice. She had to visit to the Malecón. Okay, in La Libertad. Yeah, teacher. Okay. It's a big place here, right? Eh? Sí, sí, sí. Por supuesto. Okay, um, that's amazing. Okay, that's the the recommendations for Rod. I I will I will say that she should, sorry, he should, um, go to the to the beach and um uh, like put the, the the towel in the sand and stay right here like alone, not too alone, but no like in a crowded place. Como tirar la en la arena y acostarse ahí un rato 
Um, I would like to do that. That's my advice, okay? And we're going to read to Teresa. Who is Teresa? My teacher. Okay. My favorite activity is shopping. I love to buy gifts to take home. I don't like modern shopping malls. Okay. What do you think about Teresa? Mm -hmm. Maybe she, she should go to Metro Central San Salvador because it's bigger than Santa Ana or Unicentro. Okay. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Uh -huh. Another example. Um, she said, don't like the modern shopping malls. They have to go to the downtown then. Okay, yeah. And even if she can like buy for online places, como, um, ya que no le gusta como los shoppings modernos, lo puede pedir por internet, right? And it can be an option, right? Right. So um maybe she can go for example to eh, le gusta comprar regalos el mercado de artesanías it's so good to buy artesanías and um it's like a national tooth here in El Salvador that's my advice do you have another advice about Teresa well, uh, should be visit to Guayua Guayua okay what can she do right here? Here is, is, is to, hey, she can buy um, um, these art, the, the artesanías, the local artesanías. Uh -huh. For gift, but teacher, for gift. For gift. And craft. <laughs> Okay, yes. Okay. Um eh, another advice acerca de Teresa, una 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 respuesta más acerca de Teresa. No. Hasta allí. Hasta ahí nos quedó Teresa. Okay, thank you so much for these speaking recommendations. Um, it was so good. Y pone a prueba también lo que ustedes saben de los modal verbs. Ya no se los tengo que explicar yo. Ya ustedes saben cuáles cuál ir poniendo. Y por lo pronto vamos a hacer nuestra propia speaking activity. This is, is if you could be in any place right now, Where, where is it and why? La pregunta es, si ustedes pudieran estar en cualquier lugar en este momento, ¿dónde sería y por qué? Okay, this is the question for today. Do you have any questions? Sería viaje en este momento, teacher. Sí, imagínense que... Ajá, en el presente. Si usted en este momento pudiera estar en cualquier momento, en cualquier lugar del mundo, ¿cuál sería y por qué? ¿Por qué le gustaría estar ahí en este momento, ok? Sí. Ok, teacher. Perfecto. Les pongo entonces en las break up rooms.
Okay, I think we are all here. I need to know if you could be in any place right now, where is it and why? Cuéntenme. I would okay. like to go to. Okay. I would like to go to Olocuita to eat pupusas the night. The night. Okay. That's a really good um, place to stay. La verdad es que sí. Okay, thank you so much, Jimmy. Okay. Anyone it's else? Your... Sí, dígame, your... Rudy. Yes, I would like to be in Italy because I could taste a calzone pizza right now. Calzone pizza? Yeah. Okay, it sounds great. Amazing. I would like to be in Italy, like eating calzone pizza too. Yes. <laughs> okay, by the oven. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, this is so Thank good. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Una personita más? Me, teacher. Yo quería. Escucha mi historia. <laughs> I would like to be camping in a forest with my best friend, listening to the song of the nature and looking at the star and a campfire. That's okay. it? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm glad to see you all. You did it so great. Everything was so fine with this. I think you are doing fantastic and you already know about the modal verbs that is so important. So I need to know, first of all, if you have any questions about um, about the class, about the things that we were talking about. Is there questions? Is there anything else I can do for you? Questions. No. Okay. So I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, everyone. Bye. Enjoy your night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. See ya. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night.